own this space? Actually, I've been here about 30 odd years now. Yes, 30 odd years now. Okay, what, what, what made you decide to venture off into this field? Well, I, I have a passion for, for, for craft items and stuff like that. And I actually used to work with someone down here. And then I just branch off on my own. I've taken over from my mom's generation. You know, I'm the, well, I say the third generation of this shop. Third generation of this shop. You guys have been selling crafts for three generations? You guys have been supporting the culture for three generations? Yes. So um, my great aunt, my mom took over from my great aunt and then I took over from my mom, you know. You let me know that you're not just a stylist, but you actually make the pieces. So tell me how you discover that, how you come about that talent. Okay, so my mom is actually a fashion designer as well, so she taught me how to make clothes. Mm -hmm. And then styling, honestly, through like using social media and posting in my outfits, mm -hmm. artists and their team started reaching out to have me style their, you know, artists and stuff. So what kind of Jamaican crafts exactly? Well, handmade, you know, stuff that we made from scratch, you know, certain materials, wood, metal, mahogany, and some other stuff like carvings, mm -hmm. dress prints with your own designs and stuff. All these areas are handmade. Can I touch it? Yes, of course. Can't take up anything. This is the tassels. Mm -hmm. These are the twists. These take hours to make. You understand? I but, can imagine. Yes, but it's a certain like this cone here mm -hmm. is a plastic from a bottle, you know. Whoa! You see the black plastic you see? Mm -hmm. And the boom back you know. They yeah. cut it and shape it out, same with the plastic here. But they put it together and make a cone ears ring. You are right? so talented! You understand? This, is, this one is made from a buckle cock. A buckle cork? Buckle cock. Like what the plastic buckle cock. Yeah. So we're innovative, so it's not just alone wood and um, leaves, items mm -hmm. and stuff like natural. Yeah. You know, we use plastics and stuff but they're still handmade yeah. you understand they want jamaican stuff definitely locally made authentic jamaican stuff and this is exactly what we try to sell here every single thing you'll see inside here is made from jamaicans we have like leather bags over there paintings plaques key rings all different type of uh, variety this one is basically, it's like a, it's like a craft jacket that I did mm -hmm. and obviously puffy sleeve is my, I like the silhouette of having puffy sleeves and a small body yeah. area, so I did that craft, I had actually styled it with jeans, shorts and fishnet stockings, it was mm -hmm. for like a dancehall queen type of look mm -hmm. and, nice. and she had on like um, bantu nuts mm -hmm. and big earrings oh, that and is a look. stuff. That yeah. is a look. Okay. What influence has reggae music had on Jamaica? and how has it impacted you? Because I feel as though without reggae, we wouldn't have so much arts and fashion mm -hmm. that looks and feels like this. To be honest, it's, 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 how do I say, it's almost 100% part of the Jamaican culture when it's in fashion. Yeah. Reggae is a part of fashion in Jamaica as well. Yeah. Not just reggae, you have dance and other stuff, but reggae really pushes Jamaican tourism forward. Yeah. You understand? They love our culture. Because people say about Jamaicans, it's not Jamaican is not a race. Mm -hmm. It's a culture. Hey. Basically everything down here that we sell represents reggae. Because Jamaica is a reggae country. Bob Marley, for one, is the most popular Jamaican ever live. And him put Jamaica on the map as reggae artists. Yeah. You understand? And we down here everything the colors jamaican colors the rasta color yeah. everything represent jamaica okay so definitely you know with reggae music and um how influential rastafarianism rastafarianism is with um reggae music you pull from that so of, of course like bob marley and his track suits are oversized denim ah, looks okay. and you know with the band the bandana kerchief as we call yeah. it in jamaica and yeah. mesh and like pulling from the direct culture that's here that's like outside that you can go outside and see and elevating it.